Frick. Hold on. We're, we're, we're surrounded. <laughs> I thought we could literally just, like, turn him away. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll battle you. I changed my mind. Let's begin. <laughs> uh, let's see how it goes. It's just, it says Pokemon Trainer Harrington. I don't think I've ever seen one who's just, like, Pokemon Trainer, right? They've always got some kind of, like, weird title going on. So, Morgrim is a fairy and what else? Dark? Very dark type? Let me try Bitterblade. He'll probably outspeed me, yeah. Oh, okay, Nasty Plot? I don't like that. <laughs> that means he's set up to be a sweeper. Oh, check it out. Coda's playing some uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Okay, never mind. Charcuterie is immensely powerful. We're fine. <laughs> Charcuterie is just too good. Everyone else is catching up, too. Dollop is a... Uh, who's Coda? Um, I think he's a like a like a raccoon or something like that. I don't know. He's, he's pretty nice. He's a pretty cool guy. Also, anonymous guy. Welcome in. Hello. <laughs> so who's learning to play rock? Oh, I, uh, uh, freaking Chives is learning play rock. Uh, ooh. I mean, that's good coverage. I gotta keep these two for stab. Slash is kind of like my other coverage move, so I think I'll get rid of Slash. What is, what is a woozy doing to that drip pop? Hey, Dogfish. Hey, Dogfish, what's, what's, what's a woozy's face doing with his little drip pops? Pretty sure Coda's a red panda? No, I think he's like a fox or something. He, he looks, he looks kind of like a, like a fox, maybe? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Drip popcorn? Oh, don't eat him. He's not, he's not crunchy, I assure you. <laughs> pandas are black and white? Yeah, yeah, pandas are black and white. It can't possibly be a, a, a red a panda or something like that. That's weird. That would be weird. Also, is this better than Thundershock? It's legitimately better than Thundershock. Have you seen a red panda, though? Uh, yeah, yeah, Midori is a red panda. Midori is a red panda. I've seen a uh, red panda. They're, 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 they're green. They're green colored, which is weird because, like, you know, why are they called red pandas in that case? It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, uh, Coda is our, our favorite raccoon fox streamer, and he's playing Pokemon Scarlet right now. I wonder how many people in our group... Also, is this a fairy again? Let me try, let me try a Shadow Claw. Does this affect you at all? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I know he's a psychic fairy. I couldn't remember if fairy is resistant to ghost. Um, Midori's an alien. Oh, so red pandas are aliens. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I got you. I got you. Th thank you for clearing that up, Anonymous Guy. <laughs> An outstanding performance. However, be aware that the young master Ortega's uh, battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're murdering my brain. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Anonymous. <laughs> did did that guy actually just say Asa Levy Star? <laughs> that gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the Academy, I think? Wait, Really? Now he's tutoring the boss or something. He shows up sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hmm. Why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubt that if you're here to make trouble, I gotta let everybody know. It's still a V-Star. God, I love their little, I love their little, like, star theming. You see Midori in chat? Make sure to uh, chew on his star. He loves that. Oh! You know what? I never thought to do that. that Faison? Thank you. I, I will make sure to do that next time. He also loves being called a mint panda. <gasps> Mint flavored pandas. That's actually legitimately cute. <laughs> See, the guard has been dealt with. Good job. I don't think I've ever known Midori to get upset at anything, by the way. He's always just so cheery. That base belongs to uh, Team Star's fairy crew, the Rukpa squad. Their boss, Ortega, is a mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go badly for you. He's also the real lead from the back type. He lets his grunts do all the dirty work for him, but he uh, his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, he'll march out to the front lines and deal with you himself. Found a shiny Teddy Ursa, also called Minty. Ooh! Is, is, wait, is shiny Teddy Ursa's, like, green-colored? That's adorable, if so. Gosh. I haven't found 
any shinies yet. I think I've just gotten unlucky. Maybe I, I don't know. I, I'm due for a break at some point, right? In terms of tactics, there's nothing else to take down the lackeys you sent your way. Tough it out until Ortega shows up and then take it from there. Ring the bell at the gates when you're ready to kick off the operation. Time to wipe the Ruchbach squad off the map. You can imagine going to school when there's galaxy warping Pokemon. I know, right? Like, who the hell wants to go to school? Not me. Absolutely not me. I'm too busy getting, like, chickens that shoot fireballs out their damn asses. I'm, I'm t way too busy to be learning geometry. Code red, Operation Starfall. Everyone get into position to defend the boss with all you got. Rest assured, we'll deal with you without the boss's help if you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes. I, I always thought that they were going to, like, I don't know, make the, uh... Oh, damn. Got some Grim Snarls out here. I mean, uh, well, you know what? Here you go. Have fun. Let's see if Charcuterie can take these guys by himself. So far, so good. All right. Uh, you know what? Why don't you go over here and deal with these guys? I'm not sure how these tight matchups are going to work. No, they're doing fine. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Over to you. These ones don't even look like they were owned by a trainer. Right, there we go. And get rid of these psychic people. This is almost too easy. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Um, Locks got beat up. What happened to Locks? Well, I can't, I can't send you in to fight that one. Uh, you can go fight these guys. There you go. Now, not bald can fight these guys. I'm looking for a vending machine. You guys got a vending machine around here anywhere? Not this way. Yeah, that's what that's what you would say, isn't it? Hmm, vending machine though. I see like weird beacons of light everywhere, but like, where's the vending machine? Oh, I see one. Right over here. We're, we're probably not going to need it, but, like, I want to have it just in case. There you go. Have fun. And fight these guys. Get this real quick. Heal me up before, uh, before we get in. I want to make sure that we are well healed by the time we go into the final fight. Well, once again, we've got, like, you know, all of these guys knocked out within the first minute and a half. Wow. Okay, bring on the boss. I mean, as long as you have, like, a decent tight matchup. Wow! <laughs> that is an amazing paint job you have on there. Also, he's got... A... Is that the fucking Millennium whatever from Yu-Gi-Oh? Excuse me? I'm pretty sure he has the Millennium... A, a scepter or whatever from Yu-Gi-Oh right there. This guy is amazing. So you're drip, okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Oh god. <laughs> I was I was I was hoping for someone a little bit more beefy. <laughs> oh whatever. No one cares who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. I think fairy types are all about the cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on, bud. Take you. Oh my, look at him with the twirling staff and every, oh, he's got the luxury ball. I love this guy. They are absolutely killing it with the uh, character designs in this game. The Millennium Rod? Oh, that's what it was, Millennium Rod. I promise I'll play nice and don't blame you when this battle sends you blubbering back to home. <laughs> uh, Charcuterie needs to get like some big damage out quickly. Can you knock this guy out in one? Nope, absolutely not. All right, well, you're going to be toast. <laughs> yeah, it didn't last long. That's fine, that's fine. Let's um grab Chives, I think. Do you realize how outmatched you are? You want to give up? Now's the time. I'm not... No, it's it's one guy. You knocked out one dude so far. Come on. Take it easy. Don't, 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 don't act like you got me. Uh, how about we do a little flower trick for you? Check this out. This is certainly gonna kill you. Yeah, there we go. No beef, only deer. <laughs> 
All right, Azumarill's gone. What else you got? I'm a su a Wigglytuff. Hmm. Um, well, that's just a pure fairy, right? If it's a pure fairy type, then... I mean, I'll leave Chives out. There's nothing really else that Chives can do in this match. He's not going to be able to take out the car. I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to save my Terrastalize for maybe not bald. Gyro ball. Uh, yeah, that's no good. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> you are you are toast, I'm afraid. I also love how Chives has this like sassy little approach whenever he does that attack. Oh man. Dash bun. Uh well again, that's gonna be a pure fairy type. I'm fine. Bring it on. Is this the one I saw before? Yeah, this is the... Wait... Is it? Is that the one I've seen before? I actually can't tell. Little flower trick. Adorable. Bread buppy. We love a bread buppy. I would taste this slick move. Just can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. I love... Love the the like staff twirling thing he's got going on here. Also, big whiff, <laughs> big taunt followed by a big whiff. Don't baby doll eyes me. No, I need that attack stat. <laughs> Do you think? Mm. One more and we're good. So I don't love how you're taking away all my uh all my attack power. I could do without that. Do crits bypass stat changes? Is that a thing? All right, now we're doing the rev room. I don't get a chance to swap, do I? What the heck? It's my team on the ropes. That's not fair. Yeah, that is, life's not fair, buddy. Also, he's the youngest, but I appreciate that he's not like a child. Oh, they do bypass. Okay, well, in that case, um, I mean, I could just like Blast this guy with Flower Trick and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> also, Flannels, welcome in. Hello. Ooh, that didn't seem to do much damage at all. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, all right. I, I was expecting that guy to get knocked out. Let's throw out... I guess we're going to send out Locks next? None of his attacks do very good. I can try and get a first impression out, though. I mean, I, at the very least, I can chip away at what he's got going on. Let me, uh, we'll do a little first impression real quick. So basically, my whole goal is to do a little bit of chip damage with this guy. Steel Roller. Okay, not bad so far. Mist has disappeared. What did the Mist even do? Uh, which one of these moves is, like, actually strong? 80, 80, 30... Lowers the attack stat. You know... I never realized that Throat Chop has this side effect. Prevents the user from using sound-based moves for two turns. <laughs> That's, like, very niche, but, like, I wonder if anybody has ever used that to any good effect. Alright, Lox is gone. Uh... I guess we're gonna... I, I mean, Not Bald is our finisher. Not Bald is gonna be our finisher here. Let's send out... I wonder if I can paralyze you. If I could paralyze you, that'd be, like, super good. Let's see what we can do here. A little nuzzle action, please. No, oh, no, you're not gonna survive this. <laughs> You top tier Pokemon specifically depend on sound attacks. Really? Interesting. Just to clarify, the truck's not an actual Pokemon? I th I think it's, like, built of out of Pokemon. <laughs> Sylveon uses Hyper Voice. Oh! Interesting. I never really thought of that as, like, a, a uh, you know, an option, right? Can I fake you out? Only works the first turn. Yeah, let's do a little fake out real quick. There you go. Little stun action. It's not much, I'll take it. The engine is it's powered by uh Charcadet Evos. Ah, there you go, see? Mr. Stop asking, I wonder if I can paralyze you? What well, you know? 
He never gave me an answer, Dogfish. Maybe if he gave me an answer, it would work out, right? Fish cannon. Ooh, okay. But it's not something you can catch right now. No, it's not something you can catch. At least not that I've seen, anyway. Spin out. Ooh, okay. Well, your speed is down. Now that everyone else has passed out, I'm pretty sure Not Bald can take this guy out. He's only level 49, a little bit lower, but I got Terrestrial Eyes and I've got uh, Last Rights. You can probably hack the game into getting it. You know, I never thought about that, but you're probably right. Last Respects. All right, this guy's toast. It's just a boss thing. Yeah, it's just a little boss thing. I kind of like it as a... Uh, as like a mechanic, right? It's kind of neat. All right, this guy, by all rights, should not survive this attack. Not bald is my closer. So you should be toast. Let's see. Okay, one more. Just survive one hit. Oh, he's toast. He d he's got nothing. He's going down. I love it. I love it. Not bald is like so good. <laughs> Imagine them coming up in randomizers. Oh my god, if you could like encounter them in the wild, Lark side? Oh, that'd be amazing. I love that. <laughs> Alright, Team Star's done. You see them roaming the open world, just like these massive dudes floating around. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. In herds! In herds, no less. <laughs> yes. Man, that'd be amazing if you could uh, get one of them on your team, though. Did I lose? What the heck? Oh, he said heck. He said heck. That's about as sassy as you can get in a Nintendo game, right? He killed his car, now he'll never be able to do his work. <laughs> I'm sorry I broke your car. Have your dad buy you a Mercedes. The FPS would drop to minus 60. Yeah, the, the frames would start going in reverse. <laughs> it would be so crowded. Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? Told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I've been building it all night. It's a flashback, by the way. The problem's clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed that thing to be powered by two Charkadet. That's just too heavy. Such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our bullies' faces once we got it moving. Sorry, I really thought it would work. Come on, good fellow. Tis no, tis no occasion for melancholy. I really dislike Atticus's, like, Shakespearean prose. <laughs> Zarek, what's up? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Our favorite mid-tier wolf over here. In fact, hold on, let me let, let me see if my uh, my buttons are working. Is it? Hold on. It's thinking. I make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius. Thy name is Ortega. Shout out is not working. Maybe, maybe Dogfish can do a little shout out. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, it's working. I just had to like hit the button four times for it to register. There's no point if it doesn't work, is there? All I need. Wait. Is it? My my stream deck is like really being spotty right now. I'm trying to do a little shout out button. Uh, okay, it's not working right this moment, but I'll, I'll get you in a second. If all I had, if I uh, knew all that everyone had zero pay on, I would have asked mother to just buy a car for us. <laughs> okay, rich boy. So that's why people don't take you seriously. You say stupid things, you know that? Mela, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this code for crying out loud. And we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents and bags of cash to fix our problems for us, or did you forget? Are they all coming from, like, rich families? Dogfish, thank you so much. <laughs> oh yeah, it worked. You got it. Okay, now the button is working. I put the command in mobile, but I don't know if it worked. Oh, it totally worked. I see it. You, you got it, you got it. You gave us. You gave the new, uh, the new shout-out. I'm gonna give one of the old-school shout-outs. The one with Drip Pop. Hey, Drip Pop, open up. What's up? Oh, it's Mid-Tier Wolf. It's our very own Zarek. Go get him a ball. Trust me. You won't regret it. <laughs> if that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. We're short on juice. We gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. It's easy to say, Melly. You have an actual plan? Yeah, I'm gonna trade out my shark dead and have him evolve. That boosted firepower will get the Star Mobile moving no sweat. New antlers? Oh, hell yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh, big beefy. Big beefy antlers. See, see, uh, he, he didn't think that I was beefy enough. Am I beefy enough now for you? Then the op the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? I'll get it done. The buff antlers. The bufflers. <laughs> Melly, wait. 
You know Mel shoots her mouth off in an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, it sucks. He said sucks! Oh my god, this guy has like the foulest mouth in any Nintendo game. I love it. It sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. Any of us squad bosses are defeated. That means we have to step down and go in against the code would make us a traitor to the team. Fine. It's not like I have any uh, badge all take badge already. Better treat with respect it deserves. This guy's outfit is amazing, actually. Are those drips real antlers revealed? Uh, yeah, check out these guns. These are my real live antlers. This is perhaps the least impressive uh, photo shoot that we've had so far. It's just like, ah, uh, check your hand. <laughs> Everything else is like, you know, the explosions in the background and stuff. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam, that's actually a pretty decent one. You didn't use it once against me, but like, thank you, I guess. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong, I admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Oh, hello! It's it's my it's my dad, probably. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head home. Actually, a different matter brought me. Uh, there's somebody I'd like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. <laughs> okay, what's your business here? I wish you to tell me something. You're a son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. Oh, so that's why he's so swanky. Got it. Why join a group like Team Star? What's, this, what's with his hair? It's fake. It's fake hair. He's got fake hair. Look at his hair. <laughs> what a question to ask someone who you just met. Well, my answer is the same as uh, everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. Clive Barker, Clive Crusler, <laughs> Scotty the Oddy, yo, welcome in, hello, hello, it's good to see you, how you doing, Scotty? We do a little shout out for our dear Scotty over here. Hey, Drip Pop, come here, here, check this out. Oh, <laughs> playing some Viscera cleanup detail, yo, I think I heard about that game, is that the one where you like, uh, you're like a, uh, what are they called? Like a cleaner for the mob or whatever. You gotta like clean up a murder scene and stuff like that after people roll through. Oh, that game looked fun. <laughs> it, it's like a remake of an older game, right? If I'm not mistaken. But welcome in, Scotty. How you doing? <laughs> Instead of saying like, did I really have an issue? They can say really had an issue. Yeah. So the Academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Yeah, exactly. My good friend gifted it to me while we we're playing together. Oh my God. Is it multiplayer? I had no idea. That sounds pretty cool. How hey, do you like it so far? <laughs> Who would have guessed the school's all rainbows and butterflies these days and the boys from back then don't even go to the academy anymore? Why? What happened to them? We killed them all. <laughs> As the former director of the academy, I believe I'm best positioned to answer that question. It was really fun. Thanks for the shout out. Oh, anytime, Scotty. I'm glad you had a good time with it. And welcome in. It's good to see you. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted those students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into any major incident, the altercation nevertheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students have been perpetuated the bullying. Ah! For the boops. <laughs> had dropped out of the academy one after another. But there weren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident. This seems like super shady. This seems like something big went down and then they burned all the records. Oh no, man, that sounds all kinds of illegal. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? I was just puzzling over how best to deal with the Team Star in the aftermath of the incident. A certain student came to see me. The student declared that they should take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, no one told me that. <laughs> I accepted the request and agreed to take the disciplinary action against Team Star, and I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. Yo, is that why we haven't heard of him? A year and a half of studying abroad. Could it be? It's, it's gotta be Penny, right? This is not intended as punishment. You understand Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest so I could return to the Galar region and under the pretext of overseas study. They went to Galar? Wait. Okay, so so far my theories have been that Penny is the leader of Team Star, or that Clive was the leader of Team Star and is like, you know, kind of undoing it now. 
this kind of undercuts that. It seems like it's somebody who was overseas in Galar. Around this time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. When we discovered what had been done, we dealt with him appropriately, of course, but the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represents a grave blunder on our part. I'm not used to this level of, like, articulate writing in Pokemon games. This guy talks like a fucking adult. I accepted the blame and laid at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handling, handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. They actually turned over the entire academy because a bunch of kids fought back against bullies. What? I understand, I understand my actions have caused a great deal of trouble and you have my sincere apologies. Uh, Mr. Harrington, how do you know... How do you suddenly decide to talk about this now? <laughs> and Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Oh, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them, not after we come this far. Your friends and Team Star must have a, mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the world. Aww! It's gotta be even cooler than this. <laughs> it's gotta be even cooler. This guy's kind of sweet. I like this guy. Ortega? Pretty cool guy. Okay. So, Cassiopeia has been sitting in Galar for a year and a half. Interesting. Hmm. Drip, it's me. I take it Ortega has handed over his star badge to you then? Dogfish ran out of cashews? I will get more cashews. Just, uh, go out into your yard, find the nearest tree, kick it a few times, a few cashews should fall out. That's where cashews come from, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. I see. Well, with the boss no longer around, the Ruchbach team is as good as... I'm going to look this up. Hang on a minute. I got to know if this is a real word. Ruchbach. What is this? Delta Cassiopeia. It's an eclipsing binary star system in the northern circumpolar constellation of Cassiopeia. Yo! Are all of these people named after a constellation? Wait! Is that where these names come from? Holy crap! <laughs> no wonder they're so weird! Also, thank you for the pizza, Roxas. <laughs> I'll share my cocoa roasted almonds if you want some. Scotty, I cannot believe that you still have any cocoa roasted almonds left. The temptation surrounding the Team Star... You know what? You're absolutely right. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> Larkside, you freaking genius. It's the same bag, too. Scotty, you have like the. What is it, what's it called? Uh, Self control of a saint. <laughs> I don't know how you have like allowed it to exist that long. I definitely would have eaten it all. Oh my gosh, Nate, what's up? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. It's good to see you again. How did, uh, how did, uh, Overcooked, not Overcooked, freaking not Overcooked, uh, Plate Up, how did that, how did Plate Up end? Do you guys, uh, do you guys do okay with the, uh, the Bunger, the restaurant? <laughs> also, Crash, welcome in, Crash, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me get this in advance. We fit, we failed on day 13. Yo, that's still pretty good. That's still pretty solid. <laughs> Little Dripper, L Drip, oh, amazing. Hang on, wait, 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 let me write this down. I gotta add to the list. Gotta add to the list, hang on a minute. So we got Crash, what? Little Dripper. <laughs> oh, it's like the Little Dipper, but it's the Little Dripper. I love it, adorable. <laughs> let me do a little shout out for, uh, for our wonderful friend over here. Check out Nate, also, <laughs> We got Trinket as well. Now that, you know what? You guys are in trouble. Now I know you're, thank you for the cheese, by the way. Now I know your real names. <laughs> I can't believe you've been letting me call you zombie and fail in this whole time. It's it's Nate and Trinket. <laughs> welcome in you two. Holy crap, welcome in. Oh, let me, little shout out for, uh, for our wonderful friend uh, Trinket as well. Zombies AMG. 
Here we go. Also, Laura or Trinket. There you go. I was watching. I was watching all uh, three of these good, good beans playing some played up earlier. Uh, not three, four. I was watching all four of them. It was Carrot, Nate, Trinket, and um, starts with an N. Starts with an N. I would recognize it if I saw it. Nell, Nell, Neth. I'm I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, welcome in everybody. I'm so glad you're here. We have so many good beans. Neville, that's what it was. It was Neville. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Everybody, it's so good to see you here. Welcome in. Uh, let's see here. With his boss no longer around, the Ruchba squad was as good as finished. I can't believe this whole thing has been named after a constellation. I can't believe I missed that. Even Ortega. I appreciate the shout out. Oh, anytime. Anytime, Trinket. I'm sorry, we're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Drip. And Clive's also performed admirably in his, your support. I am positive, by the way. Also, uh, Deer Fact number 58, the 2022 Deer Color of the Year. Pantone Soft Taupe. It's the softest taupe that you'll ever get. And deers, let me tell you, these deers love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, I'm calling it. We know that Cassiopeia is obviously the leader of Team Star. I want to know why they are tearing it apart, right? And we know that Cassiopeia is Penny. So Penny is the leader of Team Star. Weird. We have to add the 2023 one soon? <gasps> you know what? You're absolutely right. On my way to get the paycheck from work. There you go. Get paid, Nate. <laughs> I remember him saying that you guys were acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Um, Wait, I, I, I blanked out for a second here. Who's my acquaintance? Uh, Yeah. For a while now. <laughs> well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. <gasps> deer fact number 15? Wizards of the Coast still hasn't added a playable deer race for D&D despite numerous petitions. When are they going to add it? Hey, Wizards of the Coasts. When are you going to add a deer? I need it. I need it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Started the poll? You started the poll? Wait, which poll? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, let's see here. Have I ever seen Drip's intro? Yep, 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 yep. I'm, I'm curious. I'm doing, I'm doing a science poll here. Are they going to add a beluga is my question? A beluga? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the boss squads themselves, confronted the bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. They could hardly call it a contest. The boys didn't put up a fight. They got they bolted from the first battle. Scared spitless of Team Star. The bullies then dropped out of school one after another. Team Star ended up the villains of the story. Wow. And Beluga? I want to see a Beluga. Oh, yeah! Fidel Fl Flennis. <laughs> Flennels. I gotta, I gotta, the, the first L in your name always throws me. Flennels. They, they should add a Beluga. We, we just gotta homebrew it. We're gonna have to homebrew it. Trying to see the intro. Yo, okay. Ever seen Drip's musical intro, the post cafe screen pre gameplay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of curious. Just curious. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. As your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. It is raining. We don't have like an umbrella. What do I do with all these LP, by the way? Can make more TMs now? We homebrew DD to get whatever we want. Yeah, exactly. Because you can. <laughs> It should help you take down the remaining boss. My supply unit will be along to give you your bonus reward. I'm going to be absolutely flabbergasted if Cassiopeia is not Penny. There's no way. There's no way it's not her, right? In your Pokeball for once. Absolutely not. <laughs> LP can be uh, spent buying items or crafting TMs. Oh, that's right. It's for crafting the TMs. Right, 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 right. Get some LP. Love it. Any other D&D players in chat, by the way? I play, like, a pretty fair amount of D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, I've got, let's see, I've got a human sassy wizard, uh, a human sassy sorcerer. I've got a super dour, uh, oh my gosh, hang on, let's get some, some cones on my head, hell yeah, watch out. I've got, like, a really dour wizard. I've got a an Aarakulkra samurai. I've got a small child rogue. And I have a tiny Frenchman gnome. What's it called? It's like a really vague class. Oh, frick. It's a 3.5 class. What's he called? 
Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on it. It's, uh... Frick. Anyway, it's kind of roguish. It's kind of like rogue fighter hybrid sort of thing. It's a... It's a base class. He's got, like, inspiration points. Man, okay, I can't remember what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> anyway, Team Star went through all that, huh? They wanted the boys to go away. They became the bad guys in everyone else's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If uh, even just one of them had been paying attention when everybody got bullied, they'd have been able to tell right then that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face the bullies despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot creating Team Star and hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Okay, so this is a little bit of self-deprecation, right? You think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. All right, well, now we're starting to get an understanding. Like, you know, Penny put together this team, and well, I, I, I'm making a lot of assumptions here. I'm making one big assumption here. Hmm. So now she wants to break up Team Star because she realizes that it's gone in a direction that she didn't want. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess I'm gonna have to fight her last, huh? Can't wait till you have the big battle Penny and she's suddenly super hardcore. I know, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Also, her backpack rules. Her backpack absolutely rules. I love her backpack. So check it out. We got uh, we got one thing left on each of these maps. I guess we'll do. Let me think. What would be the next uh, the next thing we take on? We can do a Titan. We can do a gym, or we can do uh, the last base. I'm gonna start with the gym. I want to get like the last badge so that I can be able to, like, raise any Pokemon, right? That's gonna be my goal. All right. Oh my gosh, 63% of you have not seen the intro. Holy crap! Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Thank you all for participating. That's good to know.